Welcome. Grab your gear because in this video I'm going to show you how I use D&D Beyond for character creation. D&D Beyond has many features for both players and dungeon masters. While this product is free to try out, giving you access to basic content, uh, in this video I won't be discussing is it worth the price for the additional content because that decision will be based on your personal playstyle and needs, but as for me it's probably already obvious uh, that I value this product. Uh, one quick note, we'll look at this later, but you can purchase specific content within the book, meaning you don't need to purchase complete books. So just looking through the screen uh, for creations, you can see the characters you've already created, campaigns you're in, it allows you to do some homebrew, game rules, looking at classes and spells, and different items. Sources will be your looking at source books and adventure books you purchase. Tools, we'll get to the character builder here shortly. Marketplace, this would be if you need more stuff, you can go to the store. As you can see, I've already purchased a lot of items. But you can look through and buy books for yourself. See, they've got everything in here. And like I was mentioning earlier before, you don't need to buy a complete book. So like Wayfair's Guide to Eberron be $20 for the whole thing, but let's say you just want to buy, use a certain race. So then you can just click that to a cart and purchase things individually. And the other thing that gets confusing is the subscriptions. You don't need one of these. Basically what that allows you to do is you're allowed to create six characters with the free version or without having a subscription. And the master tier will allow you to do that, plus it allows you to share items within campaigns. And then some media, and of course to the forums. So anyway, for creating characters, first thing we want to do is figure out a class for ourselves. So a friend of mine gave me a flowchart on what character would be best for me, and that pointed me to a warlock. So I'm going to look at the warlock. So to go through all the basics you'll get from the player's handbook and all the feats and different abilities. And if you're going to be a warlock, why not go ahead and be a tiefling? So we can look at the different races to choose from, review details for the tiefling, just like you were looking in through the player's handbook. And with that information, we are ready to create a character. So we can go to our tools and character builder. We will go with standard array. Uh, throw in a name here. Going to be Mistalica. And her friends can call her Mist. So you can see there's, I'm going with a theme for this. You can go through the sources you'll use, advancement type. I'm not sure what scenario we're going into, but uh, I've been told we're going to use the milestones. Hit points, I'm just going to use fixed. And gives you some basic modifiers. So we'll go next. And I'll fill in a picture here shortly. Choosing a race. Go down to tiefling. Got a lot of options. We'll just choose this one. And if we had any other abilities to look at, it will come up here. You can click on the plus sign to get additional information. Move on to our class. So we are going to be a warlock and we'll add that for our class. And it throws in an explanation point, letting you know you've got some choices to make. So it shows our light armor, simple weapons, our saving throws, and some skills to choose from. I'm going to choose deception and investigation. And an otherworldly patron. So it shows up all the options that I have available. 
And for the way I'll be playing, I'm going to go with the Fiend. And it's figured out our hit points, and it'll adjust that next as we do our abilities. So it'll let you choose if you're doing a standard array, which just gives you different options for how you're going to split it. You can do a point by system, so it gives you 27 points, and you adjust from there. We are doing a manual system. I've already rolled up these scores with other people, so there are witnesses to what I've I'm putting in here. Let's go across the board. Once we've got those entered, it puts in the modifiers that we've got because of our race and class bonuses. Go to our next step. Reason why I waited till this point to put in a picture because now that it knows it's a tiefling it puts those options up there for us. So we'll just pick one of these to put in here. And for background, oops, all the options available for me. I think an urban bounty hunter sounds interesting. So it gives you some backstory on what you've done there. And then some additional skills. We'll definitely go with some stealth. And, hmm, persuasion will come in handy too. So then we have some tool preferences. Get us some thieves tools or proficiency in that. And she'll be a rolling dice kind of person. And it goes through the special features you get choosing that background. And then you can pick character traits. So it tells you to pick two. You can go randomly or go through and pick those up yourself. For these, I will go ahead and just pick for my own. For ideals, we will just go with that one. For bonds, for bonds, this will probably work for later, and flaws. This will probably make sense for my character. So we can get into our alignments. I've asked permission with a name like Miss Talica. She might think she's evil. We'll figure out our faith later. Lifestyle, she'll be modest. Characteristics, we'll give her some black hair, crimson colored skin, and eyes of white. We'll make her five foot seven and 140 pounds. Give her 27 years of age, and of course she'll be a female. So we've figured that out. And here you can add organizations, allies, backstory information. Um, her mother was a witch. She was burned alive. And I watched my mother die. And we'll go with that. So I've got some role playing options. Then getting to equipment, you can choose to roll for gold or just take the standard equipment. We'll equip her with a light crossbow, give her an arcane focus. She seems like a crystal type of girl. Give her a Dungeoneer's pack. She have leather armor, simple weapon, and two daggers. So we'll just give her a quarter staff and add the starting equipment. 
and then that gets put in our inventory. For what's next, we can view our character sheet. And so all our information is easy access here. Got all our characteristics, saving through modifiers, our passive wisdom, intelligence, and insight, proficiencies and languages, skills and their bonuses, initiative, armor class, basically everything we need is here. Uh, one additional item we need to do is go to the equipment and actually equip our items. So we'll get these items put on her so definitely wants her leather on so these options will be available when we look at her actions and we see the armor class went up by putting the leather armor on so looking through here we can easily see with what weapon we choose ranges hits and damage and then also we'll need to go to her spells see we have a minor illusion automatically manage your spell list see we can pick two cantrips and two known spells let's see I think it's obvious Eldritch Blast and we'll pick up Mage Hand why not and then for our first level spells I believe she'd burn some stuff and she's gonna be a bit bossy So during gameplay, if we ever want to know what her spells do, we can just click on them. It gives out all the information to the side. And as you use a spell, you can cast it, so it keeps track of what you've used. As you take damage, you can just put a number in here, say you've taken damage, someone heals you, you can do the same. Go through short rests. And since that was taken, we have our spell back. Still have damage, but during a long rest, confirm on that. It keeps track of our hit points. So that is the basics to uh, creating a character with D&D Beyond. Um, one reason why I really like this is if I don't have my laptop, I can get the same information on either my iPad or iPhone. The information is still just as accessible. And that's the process of character creation in D&D Beyond. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.